Hey, you guys, it's Make Money Monday. Hey guys, welcome back to Fashionista Run, and today we are having a Motivation Monday episode. Um, I do have my notebook here with me with my notes, and I'm just going to be looking down just to make sure I'm going over everything that I want to go over, but let's get started. So, as you saw in the video that first came on, that was like my Make Money Monday videos, which, but um, as you saw in the videos, that was my Make Money Monday videos, and I just started out on my Snapchat just as like a fun little video to do. I feel like Mondays, everyone... Everyone was complaining, in my opinion, about Mondays, like, who wants to go from this bomb weekend you just had to have to go to work, to school, or whatever it is you have to do on Monday that you most likely don't want to be doing, or maybe it's something you have to do to get to that next step that you want to be at in your life. So, I feel like I'm the type of person that I like to take negatives and try and, like, I'll complain about it, but okay, we're done complaining now, how can we make this positive? So I love trap music and I thought, well, most trap music always talk about making money, getting um, M's in my bank account or whatever the case is. So it's like, okay, let's go back to what the main goal is. We're trying to get money to pay these bills or do this next move or go on that trip or whatever the case is. So I just like to make those videos on Mondays. Um, I'll post them at the beginning of my Motivation Monday videos just to kind of like add a little bit more hypeness to the video and get us ready for Monday. Um, so yeah, so now let's get into it. So basically, this video I wanted to talk about setting realistic goals. I feel like within these past few months, setting goals or having goals has just been even more present than it already was. Um, I know like a lot when people see pictures, they'll be like, oh, goals this or goals that or oh, this person got this or so goals that, which is great. But I feel like people are like, okay, how did that person get this? What do I have to do in order to get there or what do I need to do in order for me to reach the goals that I have set for myself? So I went ahead and came up with a list of steps that I take when setting my goals um I, I don't know if you have looked at my blog but i'll have the link here and down below um when i first started my blog just something to get me consistent with doing blogs i started writing like monthly goals that i have for myself and i was realizing that sometimes i would write a blog post and then i wouldn't reach the goal and i'll be like okay why am i not reaching the goals like what is not happening with the process and i think a um, problem that a lot of people have is that they set goals but they don't really have a plan or to get to the goal or maybe they make the plan but then they have roadblocks along the way that like either deter the goal or they over extend themselves with the goal trying to reach it quicker than what is really possible so I just want to basically go over my list of steps for my goals um, if you also want to follow along I will have a link down below um, to my blog for this video where you can also get like a rundown a quick rundown of these tips or if you did come my come from my blog the tips are down below underneath the video so step number one this is like um i don't know if you guys remember if depending on if your school was if you're where you went to school was like this when writing an essay you always have like the brainstorm session then you write the essay then you like go back and revise it I almost what i realized when i was writing the goal set that's kind of like almost how this was so first, it's like the brain dumping portion or brainstorm. So first, you're going to identify what is your goal and your why. I feel like a lot of times we say, oh, like I just said before, we always will look at pictures and say goals, this, goals, that. That's great. You want this, but why do you want it? Do you want it because that person has it? If that is the case, that may not be such a great why in my opinion. But um, say, for example, if you're going to school, what is the end goal? The end goal is to get a degree, right? All right. So then the next step after you get a degree is to either give you a better chance at getting that job that you really want or giving you that leg up that will help to promote you or whatever the case is to get further in life. So when you're setting goals, don't forget to identify what you want. But when you're identifying what you want, identify the why. The why is so, so important. Um, make sure you aren't doing it just to see others um, just to see others' reactions. I feel like a lot of times people will do stuff just to say, okay, I want something to post on Instagram so I can show like, hey, I got this so other people can be jealous. That's also not a good why. Make sure it's coming from like a sincere place and make sure you're really digging deep into yourself to see why it is you are setting that goal. 
so let's go back to the school example so you're going to school to try and get that degree great so we define the goal we want to go to school because we want to get that degree that is our why um create your plan how are you going to attain it um whether it's high school college you're doing your undergrad or maybe you're in graduate school or maybe you're trying to be a doctor okay girl our boy hey um create the plan what plan do you need to have set okay you, you're gonna go to classes but what are you gonna study for those classes that you attended um besides studying do we need to like go and get supplies like do we need index cards for tests do you need to set up study groups do you need to set aside time to go meet with your professors do you need to set aside time to just um organize your schedule or how are you going to get things done make sure you create that plan but one thing that i feel like we um don't do when we're creating the plan is give yourself room for mishaps or roadblocks along the way I feel like when we're creating the plan, we think, okay, this is the ideal, perfect, 100% perfect plan of what I want to happen. But then there's certain things that you don't even see coming along the way that you have to like get yourself prepared for. I know that when I was taking some of my event planning classes, my professor always reminded us, okay, you're going to create the event. Great. Now, what are some risk management um, steps you can put into play in case this um, risk happens? And she said that it, my professor would say that there is going to be times where certain risks you probably didn't even think of was going to happen. Um, for example, right now in Florida, I didn't think it was going to be this cold in Florida right now. I think it's like 40 or 30 something degrees. My phone's over there, so I can't even check the weather. But it's like 40 or something degrees right now. And I didn't expect that. I have a trip to go to next week where I'm going to go somewhere where it's cold. And that was not part of the plan. I expected it to be like sitting in sunny Florida. Maybe I have to put on a jacket. But that didn't happen at all. But even though that's the case and that's what happened now how are you going to reconstruct yourself to be prepared for whatever the goal or the plan is to make it happen um so next after you create the plan the third step is going to be executing the plan okay what is going to be the start date of us executing the plan for if we're going back to the goal that we set which is going to school Usually you're going to execute the plan maybe the day classes start or maybe you want to execute a few steps in the plan a week before classes start. I know for me, if I'm not in school or I'm not going to work, I have like that consistent schedule. Sometimes I'll stay up a little bit later than I should. Sometimes I'll spend more time doing certain things than I really should be doing just because I don't have those certain things to focus on. So maybe a week before your classes start, you want to start going to bed a little bit early. Maybe you want to get yourself back to like what it is to like eat breakfast at a certain time, eat lunch at a certain time, eat dinner at a certain time. Um, maybe you need to like buy snacks so that way in between classes or while you're in classes, if you do get hungry, you have something to like keep you full while you're going through classes. Um, do you need to go get supplies? So putting um, those pre-steps into place are beginning the execution steps of the plan to actually get it flowing and going and just making sure that everything that you have set for the plan is going as planned um the final step is reevaluating the plan um sometimes along the way our goals may change which is fine i think the hard part sometimes when our goals change is that the people who we tell our goals to they're more attached to the goal than we actually are i know a lot of the times like i'll tell my parents or just anyone in general i'll say like oh this is the goal i have set for myself then when I don't want to do it or maybe I found a better goal, they're like, but you said you wanted to do this. And I'm like, yeah, 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 that's fine. I don't want to do that anymore. It's okay. I'm over it. Now, this is what I want. This is my goal right now. And I feel like that's sometimes why people stick to certain goals, even though they may not want to. But I think something um, that is important is you want to make sure you're doing it for you than for anyone else. Maybe there are certain things you do want to do for other people just to go ahead and just make them happy and not cause any problems or whatever the case may be and sometimes it is for like maybe your parents you know there's something that they didn't get to accomplish in their life so you just want to do it to make them happy but don't do stuff that you're going to like kill yourself over make sure your goals when you're like reevaluating it make sure you remember the why why you started and if your why has changed that's fine like i just said before um just make sure that if it has changed make sure you have an understanding of why it's changed and it's still an authentic why it's still something that you want to do and it's because you want to still keep improving yourself it's just that maybe you've changed and, and that's okay but um look back and see besides that look back and see what went wrong this is a time where maybe roadblocks may have also happened or maybe the same as roadblocks maybe things have come up 
because of those things that come up maybe aside from a uh, school as a goal maybe you're trying to like save a certain amount of money to put into your savings account or a certain amount of money for a trip this is the reason why you kind of like if, if you do have like a money saving goal this is the reason why you kind of like want to give yourself a little bit of leverage you want to give yourself a little bit of leverage or cushion room where if those um roadblocks come up you have a little bit more time to make that extra money that you may need or that money that you need to set that initial goal um it's okay if things happen no, nothing's ever perfect we all i think social media has just affected our lives so much and it did our parents just because you're only seeing the best moments of people's life and i feel like you don't get to see those mishaps or the different um struggles they went through to get to whatever you see on the gram or twitter or facebook or whatever you're getting your um friend updates from there is like a struggle and a process that people go through and it's it's okay if you have to like sit back reevaluate the goal change up the plan learn new things on how you can like get to that goal that you initially set um that is basically what i have for the video um let's start a conversation down below what are some of the goals that you guys have after you define that goal what's the plan that you have set in place to reach that goal I feel like a lot of times people will like talk on social media like okay everyone let's talk about our goals yay now let's talk about what the plan is to reach that goal maybe there's someone who's reached that goal and they have maybe some tips that can help you of course everyone's situation is different and you're only seeing what that person is telling you maybe there's more behind the story on why the person chose that plan to get to that goal so do re be respectful to what other people have as their plan but if you just want to give like a quick friendly tip go right ahead and do it below Thank you guys so much for watching this Motivation Monday video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. And as always, style on and make money Monday. Hey, hey.